welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Helena. Shopping, home styling, anything interiors related. I just love it and I'm assuming you are here because you love it too. So I hope you all enjoyed my first video back after a little break last week and it was so lovely to catch up with you all and there were so many lovely comments so just thank you so much. So this week's video is a little bit of like a mashup of a few things. It's basically just what I got up to at the weekend which involved a lot of shopping. I did a home sense trip which you all know is literally my favourite shop. I am never out of there and then I did mention actually in last week's video that I was working with a really exciting brand and I was going to be visiting there to do some content creation so I've also took you along on my day out to there which is to Yusk. That's how it's pronounced because it's a Scandinavian store but you might have seen the logo and it says JYSK on it and I think a lot of people over in the UK just call it JYSK just for ease but yeah I was so so excited to be able to work with them so I just vlogged my little trip there. there were so many amazing pieces which you will see so I won't ruin the surprise but honestly I was so so impressed with it and I've never actually done a vlog to one of their stores before so this is brand new which I think is really exciting so I really hope you enjoy it and I have popped a couple of hauls in just to show you what I picked up at each of the stores we have just come out for a little breakfast this morning to Starbucks I've got a little sausage butty vanilla ice latte Matt's got a hot chocolate and could not resist getting their little Easter crispy bar. It is so windy today, but I am still drinking an iced coffee, of course. Having a little shop first, popping into HomeSense, and then I just need to go to Boots and get some like makeup y kind of bits. Back at my fave place ever, and it has obviously been so long since I have vlogged in here, so let's see what we find. I love this rattan dining set in Home Sense. How nice is that? £700 for all of it, which I don't think is actually too bad. Look at these. Oh my goodness, I love these. They are gorgeous. Look at the colour. Oh, look at this mirror. Hello. <laughs> they are stunning. I've not seen those before. Let's see how much they are. They are $14.99. I might have to grab a couple of those. And they've got some more nice cushions here. Look at like, the embroidered detail. Let's see these ones. Oh, these are huge. They're gorgeous. They would be so nice actually for like in the garden. We're just looking at all the displays and like the ones over here thinking, I wonder if my sister did these ones. I'm gonna find out because they both work in here and I know Poppy loves styling up all of the shelves. How random is this? It is an Eiffel Tower that you fill with drink. <laughs> so random. Oh, I love this part that this plant is in. It's nice, isn't it? How much is that? $12.99. Really cute. How good are these wreaths for $12.99? So, so cheap and they're so pretty. So cute for spring and Easter. Oh my gosh, I think these are so cute. There's like a little wheelbarrow and a slightly different one there. Oh no, they are the same. And you can plant little plants in them. So many big planters for in your garden. And I always think they're such good value in home sense. So much cute Easter stuff. I always love the gingery things. Like look at that bunting, it's so sweet. Oh, no, Chess one is like a little um, shelf thing for her garden, for like herbs, and that's a cute one, but I think she wanted one in white. So many little bunnies everywhere, look at all these. So cute for Easter. Oh, this is sweet here. Look at that little bunny wreath. It's really cute. Oh, they're reduced as well. How much are they? £15, not bad. I like this planter back here, that's nice. Really sweet with like the alliums on it. That's cute. These are also sweet. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. I actually think I might need these. Look at those, like the ruffle detail. Oh, they're stunning. So they've got one that's like a glazed, and then this one back here is more just white. They are gorgeous. So much more Easter cuteness. Look at these little balls. So sweet. Look at the plates, so so cute. I love all the little pastel colours. There's so much nice stuff in here at the minute. I love spring decor. It's a cute mug, isn't it? A little handle. Cute. 
cute little ceramic carrots, how adorable. Matt's on basket and carrying my coffee duty <laughs> while I film. Oh my goodness, look at this planter. I'm just going to get it out and stand it on the floor so you can see it. That is gorgeous and it kind of matches the ruffled one I've just picked up. It's only $24.99. I think that is so good for a huge planter. Laura Ashley always do the nicest garden range. I got a little bird feeder last year actually that matched these. So nice. My gosh, I've just spotted something. They are exactly like the Neptune blossom stems. Oh, I saw this on the website the other day. It's like a little scalloped edge tray. It's quite cute actually. Just spotted these and I feel like I will love them. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at the little like ruffle edge detail and the flowers on them. I'm gonna have to get them out properly. Look at those. Again, imagine those in the garden. That's similar to those ones I videoed just as I walked in. I love those. Imagine if you had a little bistro set with those on the seats. They are gorgeous. I love those and they're 19.99 for two. Look at that lovely little stool and they've got like a matching bench. Imagine those in like a dressing room. They would be gorgeous. So many pretty cushions, more cute blue ones. Look at those there, seat pads again as well. So they'd be nice in a bistro set too. I shared these on Instagram the other week and everyone went crazy for them. Look how lovely they are. Love the green. I thought in my green spare bedroom, they would be so nice. So a little fun fact for you all. I actually used to have a little small business that made knot cushions and then Matt just spotted these on the shelf. How much is that? Is it like 12 99 yep. Yeah, we used to sell them for a lot more than that. Nice. Yeah, because no one used to sell them, did they? And then like Primark and everyone started making them, so I had to stop. But that was like my first, that was actually before I even had my home account on Instagram, wasn't it? We used to just sit in our flat in London making little knot cushions and it actually did so well. <gasps> Look at the scalloped edge. Look at those. Oh my gosh, they are so, so cute. I obviously don't really have much pink in my house, but they are adorable. Oh, I shared this cushion as well on Instagram yesterday. How gorgeous is it? Look at the detail on it. And it's 19.99, but they are just so, so gorgeous. Oh, I love this stripy throw. How gorgeous is that? It's like a gorgeous like muslin material. I've got a few blankets from HomeSense actually in this material and I love them. They're so nice for styling. Look at this cake stand, just spotted. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous little edge detail. You like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> little cabbage bowls that everyone's gone mad for recently. They have got a white one here, actually. That would be really nice for styling on my kitchen shelves. Look at these junks. How nice are they? Look at like the embossed detail, they're stunning. You could use it for actually putting drinks in or use it as a, a vase and it was 12 99 Oh my goodness. I do not think I have ever seen a set of baskets that I am more obsessed with. Look at those. Look at the scalloped edge. They are stunning. Oh my gosh, I really want these. So the small one's 20. Middle one's $39.99 and then the bottom is $49.99. So they are quite expensive, but oh my gosh, they're so nice. And they've got another set there. A section that we always have to come to because I cannot come to HomeSense without buying Martha a toy. She is the most spoiled little girl you'll ever come across. And they've got so many in here. So I need to find something she likes. She always likes like fluffy animals. Like I feel like she'd love that kind of thing always love the basket section in here and they do have some more scalloped edge baskets. Matt was like, do not turn around, do not look at the baskets. Aren't they cute? Look at them. So many cute things. So I think we're pretty much done now. Oh, that's nice. Like the striped fabric. That's really nice. Um, so we're just gonna go downstairs and pay now, I think. Martha, what have we bought? <gasps> She loves a home sense trip. Oh, what's that? It's a hedgehog. Oh, what have you got? Where is that, Marthy? We need to take the tag off. <laughs> so 
So who is ready for a little haul of what I picked up at HomeSense? That shop just never fails, but at the minute in particular, it's literally so, so good. There are so many gorgeous things. Like I did end up spending quite a lot of money, which I didn't really plan on doing, um, but I just could not resist. And obviously with HomeSense, if you don't buy it there and then, there is just no guarantee that it will be there even like a day later when you decide to go back. So you've just sometimes got to commit, um, but I do love all the pieces that I picked up. So first thing I'll show you is just something small. So you might have seen these kind of, these have gone really popular recently, like the little like lettuce leaf um, bowls. And I haven't bought one for ages. And a lot of places have them in like a dark green color, which isn't really me. So they had this gorgeous, like it's kind of like an off-white, I'd say like, almost a very, very pale gray. And I just could not leave it there. So it was only three nine, oh, excuse the fact that I have lost some gel off my nail today. The rest are all still intact, apart from this one. I could feel it coming off last night and I said to my mom, oh, my nail's gonna go and then stay at work. It just off the gel went. So I need to fix that. So please don't judge me for that. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that. So I am hoping to add some more kitchen shelves at some point. Some of you that have been here for a while will remember that last time I put up some shelves in the kitchen, it ended up with a huge flood because my boyfriend drilled through the water pipe. We had a hole in the wall. We had to get a plumber, a plasterer out. It was a disaster. So if I do put more shelves up in the kitchen this time, we will just get somebody to do it from the outset because we are not risking that. But I did think, yeah, that might be a really cute little accessory in case we do brave getting more shelves in the kitchen. Then you can probably tell from the video that I of course had to put this in my basket because I was obsessed with it when I saw it. This gorgeous, gorgeous ruffled edge plant pot. Honestly, I actually don't know if I've seen a nicer plant pot than this one. I honestly think it is stunning. Just like the colour is so perfect for me and that detail is just beautiful. So it was $9.99. So I don't think it's too bad and it's got a little hole in the bottom so you can actually use it outdoors because it's got drainage. Something slightly different now. <gasps> Is these cushions. I am just lost for words at how nice these are. I literally saw them and I just thought I need those. So let me see if you can see up close. It's just got so much gorgeous like floral um, detail on it. And then like the little ruffled edge as well. I just think they're gorgeous and they're so like poofy if that is the right word um I just love them so I think I am going to use these on my garden furniture that's my plan um because as I mentioned last week we do want to do a little bit of a garden revamp so I'm going to save them for that but they were 29.99 for both of them random purchase some more pens because I actually love stationery as well anything pretty and girly I just love it I'm just such a typical girl so always need some cute new pens for work the next thing is a big one so Oh, here we go. It's so big and it's so heavy, but isn't it beautiful? Like such a gorgeous, gorgeous plant pot. I am honestly obsessed with it. I just think it looks so expensive and it was $24.99, which for a plant pot this size, I just don't think is bad at all. Sometimes if you go into a garden center, you can literally spend like 70 pounds on a pot and they're usually quite basic pots. Like they're not even that pretty or anything. But one of our plant pots actually fell over during winter in the garden. So it's got a massive crack in it. Um, so it really needed replacing. So I thought, this is the perfect replacement. Again, it's got a drainage hole at the bottom, so it's fine for in the garden. Um, and I just thought it's beautiful, a gorgeous ceramic, and it's just so me. I honestly adore it, a gorgeous color. So I cannot wait to get out in the garden just to sort it out. The garden is literally giving me like the ick at the minute because it's just, it's at that phase where it's like green and dirty out there and there's just stuff everywhere. There's like plants that have fallen over in the wind and it just looks a state. So I am so excited to get out there and sort it out. Okay, and then finally, I actually text Poppy saying, oh, I really regret not buying this. And I sent her a picture of it. And she was like, oh my goodness, why have you not bought that? She was like, I'm going to go and buy that. So I was like, well, you can't have one if I don't have one. And she was literally going into work to start her shift in like an hour's time. So she was like, when I get there, I will put two aside. So I ended up with it and here it is. This gorgeous ceramic jug. And look at like the 
embossed detail on it. It's just gorgeous. This, I feel like, is like modern country in a decor piece. It's honestly beautiful. So imagine in summer, like sangria in your jug. That'd be so cute. Or yeah, you could use it for flowers. So I'm thinking like in spring, I might get some tulips in here. Imagine some pretty peonies. Um, it's just so, so versatile. And I just think it's honestly beautiful. So that was 12 99 which again, I think that is a bargain. When I said HomeSense was on fire at the minute, I wasn't lying. I am so, so impressed with it all. I did see the jug online on TK Maxx's website um, a few days ago, which I did link on my Instagram and I think quite a lot of you bought it. So I'll see if that is still available. And if it is, you need to go and snap that up straight away. So this is the first time I've been to this, um, you actually pronounce it Yusk, um, store. It's in Bolton and it's actually such a nice one. It's so big, it's on two floors and there's loads of stuff. Look at these gorgeous seat cushions. They've got like a blue one, a beige, they're lovely. Absolutely love these planters. Look at those, they're gorgeous. Really, really nice for your garden. So Matt just actually pointed out that it's a stool, not a planter. So that's what you sit on. So um, yeah, don't go planting your plants in there, guys. <laughs> so I love rattan baskets for my garden that I plant things in. This is where I always get mine from. So I think I've got a couple of sets of these. And I love the ones here with the handles on. They're so good. So you've got this huge set, like a square set, and they're 50. Um, for two really big ones and they're on sale from 89.99 these gorge olive trees love those so magnolia is one of my favorite flowers and they have these fake magnolia trees look how gorgeous they are they're 40 pounds and i'm so so tempted by one of these i think they're stunning they have so many stunning accessories and they're a bargain so like look at this decorative tray six pounds so so good and then I'm obsessed with this white bowl. That is giving me white company vibes, but it's £11.50, which is so good. So many gorgeous bits. I think these are actually really cute. It's kind of got like a frilly scalloped edge, four pounds, which is so cheap. So years ago when I first started out my Instagram, JYSK actually um, sent me a box of gifted items and this was in it. And now it's like years later I'm back working with them, which is so exciting. Truly so many storage baskets, so many nice ones, really lovely. So these massive vases have been going viral on Instagram recently because they are only £30 and look at the size of them, so so good. Loving all the blue as always. I've got so many gorgeous cushions. So I have actually already been round because I was filming um, the things that I needed for Instagram. So I'll show you some of the favourite things that I spotted. So these are really cute with like the ruffled edge. And they've got loads of throws as well that match um, a lot of the cushions. So they've got the bedspread there. And that's 39.99, which is so good. And then I love this print. So Cotswold Co actually have one that's really similar, um, but this is literally a fraction of the price. Like look at that, nine pounds, just such a bargain. And then they've got the little cushions that match for five pounds. Love these, these are gorgeous. I am in love with these embroidered cushions. Look at the detail on them. They are so pretty, loads of pastel colors, and they are nine pounds. And that's in including the insert as well, which is just so, so good. There are so many nice things on this aisle, so no shock to any of you. I came straight to the scalloped edge plates and bowls. How gorgeous are they? And they're four pounds for the bowl and five pounds for the plate, which is such good value. They've got so many little cute things in here. I love these napkin rings. These are giving me real like white company kind of dupe and they are three pounds 50 for four, which is so good. And then, I don't know if you've seen, but there's a hack on Instagram going around where you can like heat up a napkin and it transfers the print onto a candle. So I think I'm gonna grab these and try it on a candle because I've just seen 
loads of plain ones here so this is the kind of ones that people are using so i basically be transferring that print onto the candle so i think i might give it a go so i will pick up a couple of these candles um because they're really good value as well can't beat a gingham cushion can you gorgeous little ceramic pots Honestly, they literally have everything. Like, it's kind of giving me IKEA vibes, but I actually think I prefer it. Like, I think their accessories are actually nicer um, than in IKEA. So this is just like the garden storage box actually that I bought from the garden centre the other week. Um, the one that we've got is a lighter grey, so I do prefer it. It's kind of more in with my colours, but this is such a bargain. It's £175 and we paid a lot more for the one that I got from the garden centre. They've got loads of like aesthetic utility things, like this laundry basket's really nice, and then like the nice wooden, um, like duster. Look at this rug, that is gorgeous. So nice, it's like a wall detail. I think that looks really expensive. I can't see what the price is, but oh, here we go. This is it here. So the biggest one's 169.99, which is so, so good. Got loads of garden furniture up here. I saw a really nice table before, I'll show you it. It's lovely. So it's this one in the corner, this like round one. Look at the detail, I think it's really, really nice. And again, it's such good value. Let's see how much that one was. 300 pounds, which I don't think is bad. Like garden furniture is expensive, isn't it? So that I think is really, really good. You spot Matt just testing out the sofas. Do you ever go shopping with a boy and they just, all they want to do is find a seat? That is Matt. Oh, it's a cute little, oh, it's a boucle sofa. That's a cute little spot. 200 pounds for that. I think that is so, so good. It's really cute. I like the little like wooden legs that it's got as well. They've got a really nice furniture range, which is this kind of like wooden, a little bit rustic. Um, style and there's loads of things in it I'll show you all around the shop but like for this TV stand £165 at the minute which is amazing this shop is huge so this one that I'm actually in is one of the um, extra large stores bed in as well and that's really nice and again these are really really pretty and it's just so affordable they've literally got such a huge range of furniture there is all sorts like beds desks sofas this huge pergola um, and they've got loads of like dining tables and sideboards over here and i've spotted a couple of really really nice ones look at this boucle chair 85 pounds how good is that i absolutely love these bar stools look how nice they are it's like a beige linen fabric some lovely like wash wood legs guess how much they are 99.99 so so good Matt's saying we should get them for our kitchen island and I kind of agree I do really like them I thought this is a really nice garden furniture set as well really really sweet um, let me go and show you some of the furniture that I love so these dining chairs are so nice look at these how lovely are they they look so expensive I think and they are two for 270 or 180 each like that is so so good they've got some lovely dining tables as well but then i love this dresser unit so you can see this matches that um tv stand that i showed you before how lovely is that i love one of these in our kitchen so for all of it 450 pounds you can pay so much more for these like my gosh imagine in neptune that would be like thousands and thousands of pounds and they've got like a bookcase version and then one in grey as well so i'm really impressed honestly i will be back here there's so many things that i've spotted that i like i think this is really nice if this is your kind of style this like herringbone unit as well so i am in love with this hallway unit just look at that we are really in need of some storage for like our coats and shoes so we're really really tempted by this so this bit lifts up so you can stick your shoes in there obviously pop your coats on there and look at the price 115 pounds so we've took the measurements and we're just going to go home and measure it and see if it fits and then if it does i think we'll be coming back to buy that because again i think that looks so much more expensive than 115 literally love the dressing table in that range as well 100 pounds how good is that honestly i could buy so many things from here 
So they've got loads of like drawer units. And again, that range that I am loving, they have got some drawers in. Let me show you those. So they've got these white ones at the top. Again, giving like Cotswold Co kind of style. And then this lovely set here, 75 pounds, which is so good. And then they've got lovely wardrobes in that style, which I think are really, really good value. And they have like different sizes as well. So you can get like the um, double or the triple. And then you've got like the matching bedside tables in those ranges as well. So these are so affordable. So that one's 80 and then 40 pounds for this one. So you could like really style your bedroom on a budget um, without compromising at all, to be honest, on what it looks like. They've literally got every bathroom accessory that you could want. This bath mat looks really cute and soft. Loads of cute accessories. That's a cute little bathroom bin, isn't it? Like the seagrass, I really like that. And they've got loads of like dispensers. How cute are these little trays? Adorable. So I think we finished browsing, filming all my content for Instagram. So I'm filming a reel and then some stories for them. Um, so there's a couple of bits that I want to go back and pick up. So I will go and grab those. And then of course I will do you a little haul of anything that I come home with. So we've got some more garden furniture down here and these huge umbrellas. So we actually really need one of the big umbrellas. So we're thinking of getting one of these for our garden. And obviously I like the beige one, uh, but they've got some really, really lovely garden furniture in like a beige neutral rattan. That little chair is so cute. They've got some really lovely sun lounges as well. So this one on the end kind of matches our garden furniture. So we're quite tempted by those and they are 150 pounds each, which is really, really good, I think. So they've got loads of like rugs and parasols here and they've got this really big rug and it's in like a gray and white stripe. So I don't want to grab one of those. I don't know how much it is, but the smaller one is only 11 pounds 50. So we're thinking this one can't really be that much more, but I'm um, quite impressed with that and we do need one because we left ours outside and now it's ruined so I'm going to pick that up I think. Is it going to go in? Oh, our bags are room. Why were we worrying? <laughs> Should have bought more. Huh. We think I might have spoke too soon. <laughs> this is the tie. Oh! Yay, look at that. Does the boot actually close? Da da da. Yay! Yay, we're all good. Gosh, we're pretty packed in, aren't we? You know when I said we could have bought more? <laughs> we definitely couldn't have done. Because we have absolutely no room left in, but perfect fit. So we can go back and set that up now, actually, couldn't we? Because it's nice and sunny out today. Just stopping on our way home for a little coffee at a place called Lottie's, which I've seen before. Um, and we drove past it and I thought, oh, while we're here, let's pop in. So I'm really excited. Oh my goodness, look at this. So we both got a vanilla frappe and how amazing do they look? I got a chocolate muffin and then Matt's got like a vanilla sponge with a jammy dodger on top. How gorgeous is that? So what did we think of Yusk? I thought honestly it was amazing. There were so many amazing pieces. There were so many amazing pieces. Like I could have gone so much more crazy than I did. I really did try to refrain because I am conscious I've got a lot of home decor. Um, so I am just trying to buy things that I really, really love or need. It was kind of giving me like Ikea vibes, but a lot less kind of, I don't know actually, I say a lot less focused on the flat pack furniture like there was loads of furniture but maybe on like a smaller scale but honestly I preferred their accessories I thought their accessories were so much nicer and more on trend than with Ikea um and literally they were like the same prices as Ikea like absolute bargains and their rattan planters could not recommend them more I ordered some of those online a couple of years ago and I've got loads of them in my garden and everyone always compliments them and that is where they're from so if you are looking for some nice rattan baskets 
that is the go-to place. I didn't go too crazy. Like I said, I tried to refrain from loads of home accessories. So one thing we needed, as I keep mentioning, is this garden update. So one thing we really needed was a garden parasol, you know, for like over your furniture, um, just to give you a bit of shade. So literally we haven't had one for years, like ever since we moved into this house, because before we moved into this house, we lived in a one bed flat in London, which had no outdoor space. So obviously we've never needed a parasol before. Always been one of those things we've just like put to the bottom of the list. Um, so they had one in there. Um, I've not got it set up yet, so I can't show you, but I'll obviously show you once we're out there in the garden um, and it's a bit more sorted out. Oh, but I got the one that was like arched over um, with like an off-white creamy sort of umbrella. Is that what you'd call it? I don't know. Probably. Um, and it just, it looked lovely and it was £185, which I think, again, compared to a garden centre, you would pay so much more for something like that. So really, really impressed with that. Um, so we decided to buy that. They had some really great garden furniture, like really affordable. And they had some sun lounges that we really wanted. Um, might have to go back for a little trip at some point. But other little things that I did buy is this beautiful cushion how gorgeous is that and i can't remember it was in my video i think i said it was nine pounds um i'll double check but it's just stunning look at like the pastel colors i just adored that so i think i might just pop this on my armchair in the living room um, i just bought one of them because again i have so many cushions they are one of my favorite things to buy so i did try to resist and i just bought one but there was no way i wasn't bringing one of them back with me so honestly love that gorgeous gorgeous detail and it's very us very very cute and neutral um, and i just love an embroidered cushion i think they look more expensive when they've got embroidered detail on them and then really randomly so i was hoping i might have time to fit this into this video but i'm actually going to put it in my in next week's vlog uh, but i explained in the videos in store that i'd seen this viral hack where people are transferring print from paper napkins onto candles so i really really wanted to give it a go so they had these little paper napkins and i just thought they were gorgeous like that print is so me so i grabbed those napkins and then i picked up two little candles as well so i'm gonna give that a go transferring it onto the candles but as i say that'll be in next week's vlog because i need to pick up some grease proof paper and i just don't have the time because i really want to get this video live this weekend so i am really excited to give this a go it might be a complete fail who knows I'm not great at like crafty DIY I don't know if I can call it that but yeah crafty DIY sort of things uh, I'm normally not the best at so we'll see how it goes um but yeah I will be sure to show you that next week but yeah they are the bits that I picked up from Yusk and as I said earlier honestly could not recommend more such a good place to go if you've never been before um I really really enjoyed it and you can shop um everything on their website as well so I'll pop a link to that down in the description box I feel like today's vlog has revolved around going for food a lot um because we are going out for food again but this time we are going with chess and jake so a little double date night we're just going to a cute little local like country pub not sure what i'm gonna get but i'm absolutely starving so i cannot wait look who we're with little date night <laughs> so i have got a leany burger a glass of wine and then is everyone oh no chess and matt have got roast dinners they look good and then jake has got fish and chips so but that is the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed spending that weekend with me seeing what i got up to and doing lots of shopping so i will be back next week with another video and guess what this next video might include some of chess's wedding so excited so i'm sure loads of you already follow chess um at florally on youtube and instagram but if you don't know chess is one of my besties and she is getting married next week and i'm literally so so excited um so she has said i can like do some clips um to pop in a vlog and then matt and i were going to spend the day around that area because there's some lovely things to do so yeah i will vlog those couple of days so that you can see what we get up to and i cannot wait for that because i think that is going to be such a good video so i really hope you will come back and join me for that and i hope you have a fabulous week between now and then see you soon